Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Nina. Today I'm gonna be doing something different and I don't really have this video planned out but we're just gonna see how it goes. I have just been like cranking out guitar tutorials in the past like month and a half and so I decided I'm just gonna like take a break for a second and do something fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, how's it going? Glad that you came back. This year I decided I'm gonna kind of break into like the songwriting kind of videos so I'm excited for this video because it's gonna be kind of a hot mess but I'm excited about it. I figured before I give you guys tips on songwriting I should kind of prove myself a little bit and show you some of my own songwriting. So this should be interesting because to be honest I haven't looked at this stuff in years. So yeah. <laughs> Now I am ready to start this video. For those of you who might be wondering, I just made an iced mocha chai with a shot of espresso. So, super healthy has absolutely no sugar in it. <laughs> Basically what I'm gonna do for this video is go through all of my old songwriting notebooks and journals, so that will be fun. And they're all down here in my dresser. All of these, oh my God. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yep, that's all of them. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Never in a million years did I think I was gonna do this. It's the first time for everything. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do first is try to find the first one I ever had. Here's a little background on me, okay? I'll just give a little background really quick. I started writing songs sophomore year of high school, so I was probably like 15 or 16, I think. And I had obviously no idea what I was doing, and a lot of them were super bad, so this is gonna be really fun. And the other thing is that I went to an all-girls Catholic high school, so I wasn't really writing about boys necessarily. I was just writing about life and also like just making up stories kind of and like also writing about other people's life and just I didn't really write about myself which was interesting. I just feel like where is this coming from? I'm writing this breakup song and I literally have never dated anybody <laughs> in high school. Basically what happened was that I would be taking notes in class then eventually I would just like not take notes and I would just like write songs and lyrics and things in the margins. Like my Algebra 2 notebook became a songwriting notebook instead of an Algebra 2 notebook. So that's funny. Oh my god. I have a blank space lyric page in here. <laughs> 2015 man. God, this is so embarrassing. So basically, this is what my notebook looked like in high school. I had lyrics written everywhere. Let's just read some of these so you can get <laughs> you can get an idea of what I used to write about. Oh, this is a good one. I said, I'm tired of being the last to know when something's on your mind. Ooh, who's that about? I don't know. <laughs> Here's another thing. I used to write a lot of sad songs. Like, Honestly, I was a sad person. Not a sad person in high school, but like I had a lot of sadness in me. <laughs> so I didn't really write happy songs. So most of these will be, be sad. And I just like wasn't having the best time with my friends. So a lot of these are kind of like about broken friendships. The ones that I wrote about myself anyways. The ones that are about relationships are mostly ones I made up or ones that I watched from the outside, like other people, like friends and like movies and stuff. Ooh, now nothing's right. I say I'm fine. So you won't leave? Gosh, I figured out my coping mechanism by talking about sad things is laughing. So if I laugh a lot, that's why. <laughs> Let's just play something, shall we? Okay, so I think this is like maybe the third song I ever wrote. And it's not about me at all. It's about other people. A relationship that just was a little bit toxic. I'm not gonna play the songs all the way through, but just to give you a little like, you know, idea of how they sound. When I started writing songs, I wasn't that good at guitar. I had taken lessons for 
you know, however many years, but when I picked guitar back up, I really wasn't that good. A lot of it is just really simple strumming, really simple chords. I'm telling you, you do not need to be amazing at guitar to start writing songs, obviously. <laughs> so this song is called Bittersweet, and I wrote this song, I think my junior year of high school. This was the first song I wrote that I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm good at this. I don't know. It's about... <laughs> a relationship that is pretty toxic and they both kind of like push and pull away from each other and at this point in my life I had not experienced that but I still felt the emotion it was still there I'm just gonna sing the first part of it I still remember it so well <laughs> That's enough of that song. That's one of the only ones that I actually remember how to play because most of these I have no idea. And if anyone is wondering like how I came up with chord progressions, honestly, I used, I basically used the same two chord progressions the first like four years of writing songs, honestly. The um, C, G, A minor, F. And then I also would do a lot of capoing on the fifth fret and I would play G, C at nine, E minor, and then D. Ooh, this one is sad. Okay, this is a song I wrote called What to Say. I did a lot of finger picking back then because I didn't like playing with a pick for some reason. This song is about like, kind of like a breakup, but I, I'm telling you, like you would have thought I had been through the worst breakup ever to write this song, but no, I did not need to. I literally could just put myself in someone else's shoes and like, feel these emotions. I would just hear stories from other people and write these songs. So this one is called What to Say. Oh god, I don't even know if I know how to play it still. Five. This is so sad. Okay, I'm gonna play the bridge because it makes me laugh because I obviously have never been in this situation, but um. I never got to sit there in that passenger seat. I miss, miss the way you look when you were smiling at me. And I'll never see the sunset with you. literally had never touched a man, so. <laughs> the other thing you have to note when you're writing songs about real people, they might get mad at you. It's just a fact. 
Uh, if you're a Swifty, you know, lots of people have been angry with Taylor Swift for writing songs about them. That's just, that's just showbiz, baby. That's just how it goes. Writers write about their life. If you have a problem with that, then you can leave. There have been many times that I <laughs> have written songs about people and they find out that song is about them. Hasn't always gone well for me, let's just say. Let's just keep it going. Uh, oh, this song is really cute. I wrote, the, I don't even know why I wrote this song. It reminds me of like when Taylor Swift used to write songs as just like an idea of a relationship kind of thing. This uh, is called If We Were a Song. I don't know how I used to come up with these ideas and stories. I guess I was always like a story kind of, I made up stories in my head. It's called Coping. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, I play the same chords in almost every single song. I'm singing the chorus for this. If we were a song, then we'd run free of the melody, baby, I'm the beat. I've always known you by heart. If we were a song, we'd sing out loud the highs and lows of beautiful sound. A simple note I could hold forever. We could show the world what we could show the world what we've known for so long If we were a song <laughs> It's just kind of fun. You, you like that like musical, like a metaphor there? Oh my god. I had written down every song I ever wrote. And that's just high school. I probably wrote like 75 songs in the first like two years. And then when I got to college, my songs changed drastically. And I think, oh my God, I don't even know how many songs I've written now. Oh, we got more scribbles. Oh, this is poetic. Anxious hearts awaiting the day when careful minds no longer feel dismay. English major? She didn't know it back then. Oh, you know what's a funny song? I wrote this song called Senior Year. I wrote this my senior year of high school and it's pretty lame, but I've sang it for my friends and they thought it was so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like that great, but I still wrote it for them and they made me feel bad about it. So, uh, I'm not gonna play it. They don't deserve it. <laughs> I wrote this song called Breakable and I thought it was so clever. It's just honestly like about young hearts and how we're breakable, but like not broken yet. I don't know. It's just like the fact that Everyone's a little banged up, but like you still come back strong. I think that's what I was going for. I'm not exactly sure. We are breakable, confused and careless, running free. We are breakable, like a simple lock that has no key. Might be a little banged up, some damage done, but not a single tear was shed. We are breakable. I liked that one. That was kind of fun. I have another good sad one for you. Um, this one's called Wait For You. And this is about you're going through a valley, let's say, a bad time. And you're like, God, this sucks. But it's like, why am I always second best? And then it's like at the end, it's like, well, I'll wait for the friend, the person, the whoever is gonna not, I'm not gonna be second best for. I don't know, does that make sense? You know that eventually it won't always be that way. We're getting deep here, wow. Written in my scars All the words they said to me Fanning the flames they burned the only thing I had But there were whispers of hope in my ear And they're telling
that song. Sad. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've seen. Let me see. I feel like I have more songs that I just don't know where they are. I have a list in my phone. Okay, I'm going to see. I'm going to do one more song. And then I'll call it good for this video because there's just, I could be here for hours. Also notice there's calculus sprinkled into this notebook because, you know, I tried to do school while I was doing all this. Oh, this was a really good line. I wrote this song about a friend that I was really, I don't know, not the best one. This line, I always thought I was running out of time, but I was running away from you. Okay, this song is called People Like You, and I thought it was really clever. People like you are always leaving, I wish you would stay a while. People like you are so unhappy, I see through you come. Anyways, that's a kind of a funny, angry song. And yeah, that's all that I'm gonna play today, actually. If you guys like this video, I can do more of them. I just, it's kind of weird to go back and like look at all my old songs. I obviously have so many more notebooks to go through. Just wait until we get to the songs I wrote in college because those are dramatic. I hope you guys like this video. If you want more like songwriting themed videos, go ahead and comment below. Comment down below any questions you have about songwriting. I would love to help you as much as I can with my, you know, just my experience with it. Um, stay tuned because I'm probably gonna do more videos about popular chord progressions for writing songs like beginner, like how to get started and how to like come up with, how I come up with lyrics and melodies and like stuff like that. Um, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a like. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing and it helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I mostly post guitar tutorials. You probably know that already. Yeah, I just wanted to do something different today just for fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!